Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest review of the password manager NordPass. Okay, so as you probably already know, how for every website you need a new password, and remembering all of them is next to impossible without a password manager. Unless you're using the same password for everything, or storing them in your web browser, which is very unsafe. And to be honest with you guys, I used the same password for everything for a little while because I knew myself and I knew I would forget it. But that was until I came across NordPass. Okay, so in order to stay safe while browsing online, you need long, complex passwords, but remembering them is a huge pain. But the thing is, you can now avoid all that hassle by using a good password manager like NordPass. Now. So the way it works is that it helps you create stronger passwords, stores them for you, and fills in the right ones automatically for each website you're trying to access. And all you need to do is remember just one complex master password. And personally, I found NordPass to be a lifesaver because I can now easily remember one password instead of probably around 50. Which for me, and I also believe for most other people, is almost impossible. So in this review, I'm going to get into everything you need to know about NordPass. I'll talk about their prices, features, and some pros and cons to help you figure out if NordPass is the right password manager for you. But if at any point you decide to try NordPass out, you can use the link in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so NordPass was created in 2019 by the same cybersecurity experts who worked on NordVPN. It was their first attempt to make a password manager that was easy to use and offered complete security. And what you need to know is that NordPass not only creates and remembers your complex login information, but it also acts as a secure digital safe for your credit card information, confidential notes, and other sensitive data that you might want to keep hidden from prying eyes. Also, your important login credentials are safe and easily accessible no matter where you are in the world or what device you're using, thanks to its advanced encryption that locks everything you store away in a virtual safe that only you can access on any platform. And this includes apps for your computer, browser add-ons, and your phone. Now, what sets NordPass apart is its proactive approach to safeguarding your digital life. It's not enough to just store your information. You also need to actively protect it. And NordPass has features that let you know about data breaches and can automatically change passwords that have been hacked. Also, you won't have to resort to the old method of writing passwords down on a piece of paper, which isn't safe if you ask me. And with NordPass, you get to use a single master password that protects your entire digital identity, which also gives you access to your encrypted digital library and makes it easier to keep track of all of your passwords. So now let's look at NordPass's pricing, plans, and features. And starting with the basics, NordPass offers a free version that you can use for life, which is what many other password managers offer as well. They let you try out their service without taking money out of your pocket. Also, their free plan doesn't require any credit card details to get started and includes unlimited storage for passwords, keys, and credit card information, as well as convenient features like autosave, autofill, and the option to import passwords from other management tools. On top of that, you also get a number of security features, such as various multi-factor authentication methods, form filing capabilities, password generation, and device syncing. And I guess you'd be asking me if there's a catch. Well, the free plan only allows you to access one device at a time. So most people who want more coverage usually go for either the premium plan for individuals or the premium family plan, which can fit up to six people. And both plans are available as one year or two year subscriptions. But to keep things simple, let's focus on the yearly option. So for one person, the premium plan costs $25 a year, which is less than $2 a month. On the other hand, if you're looking to set your whole family with a premium family plan, you have to pay $45 per year, 
which is around $3.70 a month for family of up to six members. Now, if you choose the premium plan, you'll get all the benefits of the free plan, plus some important extras. And the premium users can securely share passwords, giving trusted users access to specific credentials. Plus, NordPass takes things to the next level by checking all of your passwords for weaknesses, pointing out weak or commonly used passwords, and recommending strong one-of-a-kind alternatives. This way, every time you log in, NordPass will be able to automatically fill in your information, making your time online safe and easy. So what NordPass does is definitely a lot more than just the basics. Like with any premium plan, you get a full web scan that will let you know if any personal information has been exposed due to a data breach. This high level of security includes smooth device transitions, which let you stay logged in on multiple devices at the same time, which is great for people like me who use a lot of different devices during the day. I use two different laptops and my phone, so it's really convenient that I can be logged in to all three devices at the same time. Also, the safe isn't just for passwords. It's a safe place to store digital files, and I've personally used it to store crucial documents like certificates, banking records, and tax details, so it's all encrypted and neatly organized. But if at any point you decide to try NordPass, you can use the link in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Okay, so signing up for the premium plan was a no-brainer for me. With the plans costing just under $2, it made sense for me because I'm a single user. But if you have a family, I would definitely go for the family plan, which costs $3.69 a month. It's a cheap way to make sure you and your family are safe from possible cyber threats on sites like Facebook and TikTok. Plus, this plan's really flexible, allowing you to protect your entire family and get some extra peace of mind. That way, you know that your family is safe and you don't need to worry that you might use the same passwords over and over again. Now, NordPass also caters to businesses with plans ranging from $1.79 up to $5.40 per user per month. These plans prioritize password health and security with tools such as an admin panel for monitoring, continuous breach scanning, customizable password policies, and secure credential sharing features, ideal for encouraging teamwork without compromising security. So when it comes to managing passwords, the most important aspect is security, and NordPass really stands out in this area. In fact, many other password vaults, such as LastPass, OnePassword, Norton, and Dashlane, have been breached in different ways. LastPass has been hacked many times. In one case, hackers went after a developer's home computer, However, NordPass has never had a breach. This is thanks to features like the data breach scanner and support for hardware keys for authentication. Also, our data is encrypted and stored in the cloud, so you can still get to it even if you lose a device. And if you haven't already checked, NordPass has an average rating of 4.5 stars on Trustpilot, Google Play, and the Apple Store, which is definitely reassuring. Not only that, but it also passed an independent security audit by Cure53. And it's not currently on the list of password managers that hackers or independent tests have hacked. So when you compare NordPass to its competitors, the free plans from other companies may seem less restricted. But NordPass stands out because of its strong security measures. Now, let's compare NordPass to RoboForum one of its competitors that has also proven itself as a great password manager, just to see how they both stack up against each other. And speaking from experience, because I've used both of these password managers, RoboForum stands out with great features, and I would not think twice about recommending it along with NordPass. NordPass, on the other hand, is better because it cares more about security, privacy, and helping users, which is very important for things like recovering lost passwords, but when it comes to pricing and usability, RoboForm and NordPass are about the same. But I do think that RoboForm's interface has a nicer overall appearance. And if you ask me, picking one over the other comes down to personal preference because both password managers are really good when it comes to security. But for me, NordPass is the top choice 
because I trusted enough to keep my online data secure at all times. So when I started using NordPass, I was immediately impressed by its clean, simple design. Its grand white color design made it easy to find my way around. And not only that, it was also quite easy to set up. And now I can quickly link my passwords on any device. And moving my passwords from my old browser and password manager to NordPass took very little time. And I especially liked the autofill feature for the forms and credit card information, which made online shopping a breeze. And even though the platform generally has user-friendly functionality, some of the more advanced features did require some learning on my part. And there were also a few glitches with a desktop application. I did experience a couple of freezes, but by restarting the app, I managed to fix the problem. So it wasn't a big deal, but it's worth mentioning for others who might experience similar stuff. And the fact that NordPass hasn't had any security breaches just goes to show how strong its security really is. So with their zero knowledge architecture and their end-to-end -end encryption, you can rest assured that no one can access your data, not even NordPass employees. This means that no one else can see your master password or personal information. Plus, the service also found and protected compromised accounts on my list, which was an extra layer of security. And I gotta say, one unexpected but helpful feature was the automatic removal of private information from my clipboard. It shows again that NordPass will do anything to protect your privacy, and that's another win in my book. And guys, that's about it for my honest review of NordPass, and I feel so much safer now browsing online, knowing that I'm safe, unlike before when I was always using the same password for everything. It was a very unsmart move on my part, and I wouldn't recommend it. So NordPass is definitely a good choice, and it's one of the safest and best options on the market for only a few dollars a month. And I really hope that this review helped you decide if NordPass is a good option for you or not. If it was, please click the like button and subscribe to see more reviews like this one. But if at any point you decide to try NordPass out, you can use the link I left for you guys in the description down below. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.